I've done it! My time machine is complete! Ha ha! Jeez, what's so funny? <laughs> oh, hi, Glenn. Hey, how are you doing? I was just reading something funny in an Archie comic. I joke Ed. <laughs> Wait a minute, Archie comics aren't funny. Any humorous quips that may contain are automatically negated by the convoluted storylines and the substandard illustration. Are you trying to hide something? <laughs> well, I suppose there's no harm in telling you what I've devised. After all, no one listens to you anyway. <laughs> so what have you built, is it? Is it a dance instructor robot? No. A hands-free waffle iron? No. <laughs> Some kind of machine that writes, illustrates, and prints its own comics? Amazing. <laughs> what is better than those things? It's a time machine. The time machine? That's an even worse idea than the pocket pudding maker. Hey. <laughs> I stand by my belief that one might want pudding at any time. The fact that it's made in one's very own pocket makes it even more convenient. <laughs> Let me guess how this machine of yours works. You plan on transmitting an ultra-low frequency signal into deep space to locate a class 2 supernova that is ground development into a black hole. Based on the velocity of which the surrounding solar system is being inverted, the frequency will be able to determine if the gravity field surrounding the event is strong enough to support a one hole. If it is, you try to generate an electromagnetic current by the return of frequency, which should be able to vent space time in this dimension, thus allowing you to travel a diagonal through the continuum to a point of your choosing. Yes. Oh, come on! You can't do that! Everybody knows time machines are a bad idea. How many movies do they have to make about this? You go into the past, you screw something up. You go into the future, it's screwed up. You end up, you know, marrying your parents or something. <laughs> don't you care about any of those things? I don't care. I don't care about women, politics, my tenure track, money. All I care about are comics. And with this machine, I can get comics. <laughs> I don't agree with time travel, but if there were ever a reason to do it, that is it. I'm glad you agree, Glenn. The only problem is, in order to calibrate the frequency emulator, the best way I can think of to do it is to go back in time to a random location and ask someone the year. <laughs> You know, for a professor, that seems like a really half-assed plan. Why, Glenn? It's time to become history! Good luck. Very valuable to me. 
and my army. <laughs> it's not a weapon, Napoleon. Not a weapon. But if it does as you say, then it could be very valuable in war. I'm about comics, not war. <laughs> comics? What are these, uh, how do you say, uh, comics? <laughs> well, they're illustrated stories that are very fascinating. I can show you, as a matter of fact. We'll see about this. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. This one. This one here. This what? He's a sad spadamons. I must have him. He must join me in my army. Well, tell me, what flag does he fly on the <laughs> Well. I guess that would be Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> the nation of Marvel. The nation of Marvel en France. Destined to be a swan. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the leader of this nation of Marvel? I guess that would be Stan Lee. Stan Lee! <laughs> you must not help me to see it as a Stan Lee. Well, the Spider Man comic was made in 1962, so we'll go to that year. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> 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 What's on? We are traveling through time! <laughs> What the fuck are you two? <laughs> What's with that hat? I'm a Napoleon. Never heard of ya. Never heard of me. I can't go to Russia, do not not? <laughs> nah, I think you lost, kid. Nice try, though. What can I do for you, huh? Have a drag. It tastes like a shit. <laughs> yeah, I guess it does, huh? So what do you two want? My name is Napoleon. Yeah, we went over this, chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry. Smoking causes forgetfulness. <laughs> he is a professor of tongue. Allergy. Interesting theory. It is not a theory. Well, where's the evidence? Um, I don't know quite how to react to that. <laughs> Interesting theory. Well, <laughs> is there anything I can do for you before I kick the fear of the fuck out of my office? Well, if you are stuck and stumbling, I want to ask a question. Okay, shoot. I want to meet this amount right here. Ah, Spider Man. I don't remember writing this issue. Yes, sir. The Spider Man. I must to meet him. Well, I hate to tell you this, kid. <laughs> Spider-Man ain't real. Spider-Man's not real? There you go. Nah, it's all a sham. Doctor Strange, the Incredible Hulk, Superman. I invented them all. Superman's not real either? <laughs> nah, it's all, it's all lies. But here, I'll make you two a novelty comic if you promise to leave me alone. So uh, I'll just use this machine that writes, illustrates, and prints its own comics. <laughs> I invented it myself. Ah, uh, Napoleon, loser of Europe, <laughs> and professor of timeology, and Fresco. <laughs> there you go. Now get the fuck out of my office. I gotta meet with Jack Kirby. <laughs> oh, the mom. Yes, but, how do you say it? I'd be more worried about Waterloo. Waterloo. <laughs> With this in mind, this is Waterloo. I must return back to my armies. Unless they are bought illustrations as well. I give an idea. I'll drop you off my way home for you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> See you two later. Whoa.
Spider-Man. Then one day he decided to add Napoleon to the script and it blew. It was really bad. The company went under, they had to cancel everything. Everybody burned all their issues of Spider-Man in protest. <laughs> so this is an actual issue of Spider-Man? This thing's priceless. You could buy all the other comics in the world with this. <laughs> By Archie's ghost, you're lucky. Wait, what did you say? Archie. We celebrate Archie in this world. No! <laughs> 